Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas part four. Get ready for the hunger of a jingle. The hungover jingle. Mm. We went out last night and had dinner with friends. I drove, so I'm feeling fresh and very smug. I'm still on antibiotics smug because I'm not gonna lie, since I last saw you, I got back when I finished the last Vlogmas vlog. I got back that night, came down with a horrendous fever and have had tonsillitis. The last few days I'm actually fine, but I was really quite unwell for four or five days. You don't even know. If you normally it was no fun. Then you can understand what ill really Listen, is. you, if you had this, it would be the end of the world. Would, anyway, right. Mike is currently lint rolling River's jacket. You don't even know the service you get, River. It's just excellent service around here. Cause River and I are off on an adventure. We're going on a girly getaway. You need some water? I'll give you some water. River lost a tooth this morning, didn't you, sweetheart? Yeah. The tooth fairy is coming. But where are we going, Riv? To London. To London, baby. What are we doing in London? We're going to meet Father Christmas. We're going to meet the real one. The real Father Christmas. Could we get more excited? Probably not. So I've snuck into the toilet because I'm actually taking River more than just to London. We're going to she doesn't know, it's so good. I'm actually taking her to London tonight. We're staying in a hotel, meeting Father Christmas, um, actually with the Space NK team, which is amazing because I totally neglected to book a Father Christmas slot locally to us. Um, and the Space NK team do like uh, press visits to people every year when they asked if I could do it. I was like, oh my God, we have to make this happen. Hey, Riv's actually getting her hair cut as well, which she's really excited about because she only does it once a year. And then I'm gonna surprise her and tell her Tomorrow we're going on the Eurostar to Disneyland Paris. We're staying for two days and I'm just so excited. She knows she's going at some point in the future because we had like a star chart for her the whole of this year for her reading. And when she got to 100 stars and read 100 books, we I was like, I'll take you to Disneyland for the night and she doesn't know it's now. And I'm literally so excited right before Christmas. I've never been to Disneyland Paris before either, so I'm excited so this is uh the suitcase it's packed i'm not gonna lie it's quite shamefully large considering we're going to disneyland for two days we're actually away for four nights in total because we've got a night in london before a night in london after but it's quite large and quite heavy this is what i'm wearing i feel like you saw it in the last vlog it's basically like my wide leg silk trousers and my jumper this is like my go-to outfit at the moment it's so comfy i feel like it's really flattering i've got the little thingy does anyone else the bane of my existence, <laughs> literally. Why? They drive me up the wall. And I've also got on some Adidas Sambas, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm like fashion victim to all the fashion bloggers that are wearing them. I wanted something that wasn't golden goose, that was quite just neutral and plain and went with everything. I caved, I bought them, I actually really like them. Anyone else find Adidas trainers fit really weirdly, like they have a really high instep. So they almost feel like on the arch of the foot, the foot support's really high, but I actually quite like it because it feels quite supported, but weird. I've got two pairs. Actually, weirdly enough, my other Adidas trainers are in this room. It's the only other pair of shoes in here, but like weirdly, I find the same thing with them as well. And I don't know if anyone else finds that. They fit unlike any other trainer, right? I've got to try and lug this down the stairs now because I don't know where Mike's gone to help me. <laughs> we have an escape artist, Enzo. You are like a ninja with those steps now. Where are you going with? You haven't got your trousers on yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah. In the playroom. NC, you know you're not allowed in here on your own. Hey, <laughs> cheeky boy. This boy is growing at the speed of light. He changed so much in between me going away last week and coming back. He literally is yeah. just like light years ahead of where he was two weeks ago. It's crazy. Bye, NC. Can you give us a cuddle? Bye. Bye. See Be you later. careful. Bye. 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 Yeah. So we have arrived. This is where we're staying. Eleven Cadogan Gardens. Are you going in, Riv? Do you like the Christmas tree? Yeah. Huh, let's go. We've just checked in and we got upgraded. This never happens, guys. This is not through like any PR or anything. I just booked this hotel for us for the night. This is the room. How cool is this? This is my bedroom. We've got the bathroom in here. It's like a whole massive apartment. Nice bathroom with a bath. And where's your red bedroom, Riv? We go round here. 
River's got her own room. I think she'll end up sleeping in my bed. Sitting room. It's nicer than my room. You like it? What do you like about it? Give us a tour. Um, because I like the TV. You've got a cozy looking bed. Yeah. And got like a little entrance way. I think. You got a notebook. You got a. You've got a cupboard. Here's our big suitcase. And I think, Riv, there might be another room here. You've got your own bathroom. You got your own toilet. Look. Oh my god. How exciting. So we've actually got a little bit of time now. I've booked in for River to have her hair cut at Trotters on the King's Road because they have a big fish tank and she loves it. That's the only place she's ever... Actually, she's had a couple of haircuts, but her last one was over a year ago now, actually, ages ago. But you loved it, didn't you, with the fish tank? Yeah. Um, you remember. So we're going to go get her hair cut now and then we're coming back because we've got a special visit from my friends at Space NK have organised for the real... Father Christmas. I can't even believe it, Riv. The real Father Christmas is coming. Ah! He's coming to see us, to have a little chat. But until then, let's go and get some food as well, shall we? Are you hungry? A haircut first. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> Father Christmas is stuck in a little bit of reindeer traffic on his way. And River and I are watching Christmas Chronicles 1. It's one of our favorites, isn't it? What is it? <laughs> I want to know what it is. And River Wren knows that I've got a surprise for her in my suitcase. And is getting very impatient. I can't. And I said, have you got any guesses? Any guesses of what it might be? Mm, a giant LOL doll. A giant LOL toy doll. Magazine. A giant toy nugget magazine. Should we tell her? Yeah! Should we tell her? Yeah! You stay in here, I'm going to get something out. I'm going to get something out of my suitcase. What have they? Have a look. What have they got on them? Raining mm. owls. Disney. Going to Disneyland in the morning. Ah. We're staying here tonight, then we're going to Disneyland tomorrow. <laughs> What do you think of all the cakes for Blue? I think you chose the right one. Mummy, so this is my that's Oh, that's all yours, is it, over there? What about this one? Is that yours or mine? <laughs> We've just been to Peggy Portion for afternoon tea. Ah, it was delicious, wasn't it, Riv? Yeah. <laughs> delicious. right behind us, and we are going to the hotel and tomorrow I'm gonna go to the <laughs> so it's really exciting so goodbye <laughs> Bye. wow Rivy look at these lights all the stars too yeah I know it's so pretty I love Christmas what are you doing Riv? just sorting out everything making sure everything's oh we've got some what's this is this for me no, they're for Santa Oh, okay. Is everything right for Father Christmas? Everything is perfect. Everything's perfect. Are we going to look out the window, see if we can hear him coming? Do you think he'll be coming on foot or by sky? Um, probably he landed on someone else's roof and went in a taxi. Oh. Oh, so you think he's in a taxi, maybe? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Riv, I heard the bells. Did you hear him? Yeah. Can you hear him? A deaf... <gasps> Worms for Christmas. No! No! I know what you want for Christmas. You want some stinky cheese for Christmas. No! No! Goodbye, Father Christmas. So we've come to Granger and Co for a little bit of a pre-Disney. Are you licking the maple syrup? You cheeky monkey. Pre-Disney breakfast. I ordered pancakes and River ordered scrambled eggs. And she's made me swap. You cheeky little monkey. <laughs> okay, we're not allowed to step on the cracks. What happens if you step on the cracks, Riv? It's lava. The cracks are lava. I'm just going to walk along this bit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, I burnt my feet. What about if we need to get to Disneyland really quick? Go, 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 go. Rivy is a big fan of the stairs in our hotel because they have chandeliers that are all connected, don't they, Riv? You be careful. And they're cool. And they have the real Triwizard Cup right there. I said to River, is she going to put her name in it? But she doesn't have a piece of paper. Maybe you should get one. 
Look, there's still one more to go. Ooh, we're right at the top. arrived in Lille station, which is actually very nice. It's very easy, wasn't it, Riv? Yeah. And, and it's actually France. It's actually in France. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah. We're now waiting for the next train. Two days very long. And just like that, we're here, Riv. <laughs> Literally right here. It's straight off the train. Watch out, because there might be cars. Wow, we made it. So we actually just got here. It's five-ish, quarter past five. Dropped our bags off, and we're going straight in to do some rides. I'm gonna go do rides. Let's go, baby. Uh-oh, just got here and straight into the shop. Surprise, surprise. Little Mouse wants bubbles. <gasps> Whoa, this is the Christmas shop. Maybe we're in the wrong shop for bubbles. of Disneyland, Autopia in the dark. No hands, Riv, woohoo! <laughs> okay, we're going up really high. We're going up really high, whoa! This is actually so magical. I honestly wasn't expecting, like I'm not like a crazy Disney person and I didn't really know what to expect, but Christmas at Disneyland is no joke. It's pretty magical, look at this. <laughs> First Disney dinner, Rivy has decided she wants to try and a whelk. She's basically like a sea snail. She's not scared, but I think she might need a hand. Do you need a hand getting it out? And a langoustine. Very adventurous. She's getting her autograph signed. We just met Captain Hook. We met Mr. Penguin. And who else has been coming around? Rabbit. There's one of the seven dwarves and Mickey Mouse is somewhere. This is just, this is a whole new world for me. My goodness, danger zone. What are you gonna go for, a pink one? Oh, she got it. Look at these, Riv. Mickey Mouse cheesecake. I've never seen a Minnie Mouse eat so many desserts. I think your eyes might be bigger than your tummy, Mousy. These actually look so yum. We've just checked into our room at the Newport Bay. What do you think of the room, Rivy? I absolutely love it. She loves it. And there is a really good secret. So you can see the Disney characters. We just kids. met. You actually can't see him now. But Pluto. we just met Pluto and up there. And we didn't realise and we just checked in, looked out the window and he was standing right there. Which means the Disney meet and greets happen right there. So in the morning, yeah. Rivy, we can see who's doing it. Yes. We're on the ground floor, which I find a little creepy. But there we go, we're just gonna close the curtains and pretend we're not. We've got two beds. They've got Mickey Mouse on the bed head the headboard, headboard. And very fancy. We have the bathroom, a little area. Our luggage is on its way apparently. We've got a bath, Rivy. <gasps> no way, Rivy, look at the shampoos. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? That is so cool. What is this? Shampoo and conditioner. Found the toilet. Oh my goodness. You found the toilet. That's good. Are you going? Yes. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> I'll get out of here then. Good morning from day two in Disneyland. It is cold. It is misty. It's kind of creepy, wasn't it? Walking by the lake this morning. Yeah. But we're here fountains are looking beautiful and we're excited to meet some princesses and to go on the Buzz Lightyear ride. Yeah, my Stop. favourite ride. Your favourite one? We stopped at Mackey D's, got some pancakes, got some coffee. It's really loud music. Should we do some dancing? <laughs> there we go, Ribby. No, wait for Buzz Lightyear. Never happens. Get them, Ribby. I might have swapped the guns. Get them ready! <laughs> Who's the fastest Dumbo? I think us. <laughs> Um, the rest of 
the day because we went back to the hotel and had a bit of a rest because we were pretty tired and we're now on our way. We've just had dinner and me and Ribby are on our way to Big Thunder Mountain to do it in the dark. Are you excited? Yes, it's not actually that dark. It's not that dark. There's lots of lights, but it's going to be so fast. Yeah, Rib is determined. She wants to do it. Look, it's lit up behind us. Can you see it going, Riv? Oh, let's go! Let's go! Straight back on for round two. Rivy's addicted. I think we've got a little adrenaline junkie on our hands. Off we go again. We're back for late night Buzz Lightyear. Round two of the day. I don't know how she's still going, it's amazing. She's literally just been dancing in the queue. Somebody smashed it. 56,000. What? Are you like, have you been practicing in the night? That's it. I think I've killed her. It's too much, too much cold, too much walking, and just a little bit of tickling. Too many layers. You can't fall asleep like that, Pickle, come on. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to Disneyland. Day three. It's currently 10 to eight, and I'm speaking quietly because little one is still asleep. We actually had the best day ever yesterday. I didn't finish the vlog because we were in the park really late, and then as like obviously little one got really really tired um and the walk back was not the easiest i had to carry her about half the way mm -hmm. and it's about a mile so and she's six next week so she, she's not tiny i almost i toyed with the idea of bringing a buggy but i just decided overall it wasn't worth it because she would only really need it for that like late night stint and i knew if i had it all day she would just want to sit in it because it's one of those things that's like, oh, I was there, I'll see, I'll sit. And I just didn't really want her. I wanted her running around having a good time. So anyway, we didn't really worry. Long story short. Um, and she was so tired and she's still asleep now. She's so sweet. I know she'll be cross that I haven't woken her up, but she needs the rest. She literally, she's got like cracked plan last night. She's like, right, mummy, so we can get, we're going to wake up early. And we're going to be like front of the queue to go meet the princesses and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now? I've been awake for like an hour, totally ready, bags are packed, everything's ready to go, and uh, she's still asleep. Anyway, so today we go back home. We actually have most of today at Disneyland. Our train leaves at half four, so um, we have until like half three in the park. We're gonna put our bags in the express service thing again and they take it straight to the train station. I also majorly underestimated the weather yesterday. When I looked before we came, and bear in mind we left home obviously one night before we actually left for France, but it said like 10 degrees. So it was similar to England, I packed like jumpers and coats, but not like full on ski wear. I packed hats and scarves as well, and it ended up being like two degrees all day yesterday. It was so cold. I actually think Riff was not too cold because I basically put her in every single piece of clothing we packed. <laughs> Um, but I ended up being really cold because I went out in just my like thin kind of like it's actually from Zara and it's like not it's not even really a jacket it's just like a thin padded kind of overcoat kind of thing anyway I was really cold and Riv's feet were really cold because she was wearing trainers it was like that level of really cold you need like winter boots and hat and scarf etc I ended up buying her a scarf a very overpriced Disney themed scarf but it kept her warm um, but hopefully today I think it's still dark outside yeah it's pretty dark hopefully today it says it's going to be 10 degrees on the app that told me it was two degrees yesterday so I'm hoping it's a bit warmer today and we don't freeze our asses off overall massive success like I have never thought I was like I don't know I'm not literally like a Disney kind of person and I still think it's kind of weird like when you're waiting to meet the characters when there's adults with no children in the line I'm a bit like this is a bit weird like I'm all up for like the waving and high five when Riv meets them but like I would never wait to meet someone dressed up as a Disney character anyway um I still think that's it's just not me um so I was a bit like unsure of how I'd find it especially being on my own because it's quite hard work but obviously like lugging all the stuff like even for like the parades and the shows I was putting Riv on my shoulders because she can't see 
and like even getting her up on and off my shoulders like on my own is quite is something like somebody had to help me yesterday because I couldn't get her off because my arms weren't long enough because she's quite big now I was like trying to lift her off actually it's been amazing and I've loved it like I've been to Disney LA a couple of times only once with Riff but um, I think a couple of times like in the old YouTube days with other YouTubers um, and I liked it but you know it's, it's a totally different experience without kids and I've been to the Harry Potter part of the Florida one but again that was like old YouTube days way before kids and it's just never been like I don't know we never came as kids like any of that kind of stuff and coming at Christmas I actually think is just so magical even though it's cold and it's a bit tricky with the weather and you know if it was raining I think it would have for want of a better word dampened things a little bit but you know what I mean like we've been lucky that it's been not raining basically but it's just so magic like and seeing her little face it's been amazing I genuinely think it might become like I want it to become an annual thing obviously it's really expensive to do it at Christmas but I mean so fun been waiting for two hours to meet a Disney princess finally somewhat at the front of the line it might be it might not two hours later <laughs> we've got two hours left at Disney Let's go, baby. Oh my goodness, Rivy. Enzi would be so jealous Lightning of this McQueen, one. Run! Lightning McQueen! <laughs> <laughs> We're on the slinky dog ride! Woohoo! <laughs> it's the last ride of Disneyland, I'm not gonna lie. Look, tame. This toy soldier one made my tummy go funny. This one, on the other hand, thought it was hello! Yes, really loved it. Got a little adrenaline junkie on our hands, I think. It's gonna be fun in a few years time when we can take her to the big theme parks and go on the really big roller coasters. So we are back in London. I'm actually back at the flat, which is very exciting. It was rented out last time, um, the other night. That's why we stayed in a hotel. Back at the flat. We had a pretty good journey back, didn't we, Riv? I didn't actually vlog it because it was a little bit stressful, especially getting on the train at um, the Disneyland uh, train station because so many people on the train had luggage that all the people getting on with Disney luggage could not get on and it was like just wild. Anyway, we are back in the flat. We're having a sushi feast for dinner. Yeah. River's choice. <laughs> Is this good, Riv? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious. Gonna watch some TV, have a little bit of a last girly movie night. I think... We are ready to go home, I have to say. It's felt like a long trip, hasn't it, Riv? It's felt like longer than, how many nights we've been away? Three nights, and this is number four. We miss Enzi, we miss Daddy, miss the boys. We've had a lovely time. And I'm gonna call it a day for Vlogmas number four. We will see you for one last final Vlogmas in a few days time. Oh, hi, Minnie Mouse. See you soon, baboons. Bye.